feel like I haven't been out here forever. Well, really, I haven't been. It's been at least a month. A month of not being out here is, to me, absolutely ridiculous. That usually doesn't happen unless it's the winter time and it's like negative 30 out here. So, I mean, it's driving, it literally is driving me nuts not being able to create something. So I've been racking my brain trying to think of projects that I can do that'll take no time at all so that I can actually get out here and do something. And I have something. I mean, it's more of, uh, it's gonna be a project really just for me, not for, maybe a few select people might need something like this, but for the most part, it's just me. But I mean, man, everything out here, I, I haven't been able to use the table saw. I can't use the table saw now because I can't really, not safely. I mean, I could probably do it if I needed to, like make a couple cuts, but to safely use it, it's not gonna happen. To go and use my bandsaw and my drill press and everything else, <sighs> I'm like, I wanna get, I'm a hands-on type of person. You know, give me a grinder, give me the wire brush wheel. I'm a hands-on type of person. I, I learn by doing, not by necessarily reading and planning. Although I've been reading, planning, watching YouTube videos a lot more lately, more so on techniques on how to do things. But I'm not going to learn that stuff unless I get out there and do it. So the very little project that I have for today is really just to take my tripod. And this is more so uh, photographic tripod or a photographic tripod head. It's not a video tripod where it has fluid movement. It, I mean, I could use this if I wanted to to get some nice shots, but it's going to be kind of difficult. I want to make it a little bit easier to where I can get some panning and tilting shots. And I figure with just a little bit of pipe in here, just like to get a little bit more leverage, that little, that longer track of movement here is gonna to translate to a little bit of movement down here. So I can get nice, nice, slow movement and really track my shot. So I figure this will solve some of my problem until I can get a tripod head for this, get a fluid tripod head, get a Manfrotto fluid tripod head, which is what I would like. So really there's only one thing I need to do and that's to cut this down the length. And that's pretty much it, that's the end of the build. It's pretty simple. It couldn't really get any easier than that. I mean, I was gonna make it a little bit more complicated, but in all honesty, for right now, uh, I'm gonna keep it like this. It's just a piece of pipe, it's for me. Now, if I was gonna take this out and actually use this somewhere, I might wanna make it a little bit more pretty, but for right now, this will work. The question is, what's the easiest tool to use to make this cut? The easiest tool and the safest tool for me to use right now? That's the question. practice this should allow me to get a little bit better panning and tilting shots with the current tripod setup that I have until I can find something cheap enough on eBay or a good deal somewhere I mean I'm talking like 50 bucks I, I don't want to spend any more than that and I know it's kind of ridiculous to get it for a price like that but you know if you're patient you might be able to get it at that price but like I said with a little bit of practice a little bit of technique tweaking I should be able to get better pan and tilt shots than what I could just trying to move it like normal so this was a pretty successful little DIY project hack build, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was more of a test to see what I could do out here build wise. And well, really I wanted to test out the slider that I got, check out the previous vlog. And I wanted to check out the little stabilizer I got. I got to work with this stuff just a little bit more. I got to practice more to become better at it. So I thank you for watching and well, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, well, see me for the next one. I'll see you on the next one. And for those of you that are curious, yeah, my back's doing a little bit better, but then it's not. There's like a hurricane coming in again. I mean, not in my area, but it, the weather is definitely different here. And I swear, as soon as different weather comes in, different highs and low pressure come in, my back, I feel it in my back. So I don't know if I'm feeling that or if it's the fact that I stopped taking my medication because I don't like taking medication. All the other. Thank you.